Okay, so welcome to this next video on uh, the uh, Vogelstein model of colorectal carcinoma. Okay, right, so we were talking about if we had a complete loss of function of the adenomatous polyposis coli protein, then we wouldn't be able to make functional beta-catenin destruction complexes. And basically, that would cause the cell to completely overdivide. So, how do we actually get complete loss of function of APC? Well, you have to remember the fact that in every cell of your body, you have two APC genes, because you have two um, homologous chromosomes with the APC gene on. Okay, so let's say this is the APC gene. Well, you have two copies of it, basically. So, if you are going to lose complete function of APC, then you need something to affect both of these genes and stop them working. So you need a loss of function mutation in both of the APC genes. So a cell in the colon has to be unlucky enough to suffer loss of function mutations in both of them. Otherwise, basically, if one of them is still intact, that will produce APC, and you'll still have some functional APC. And maybe just the expression of that single intact gene will just be increased, so that the APC content in the cell is exactly the same as it would have been even if uh, the cell hadn't undergone the first mutation. So in order to get loss of APC function, you have to take out both of these genes. You have to suffer two loss of function mutations on both the APC genes. You need loss of function mutations. So how could you get a loss of function mutation? Well, maybe you could have the gene completely deleted. That's a possibility. So deletion of the gene is a way you can get loss of function. Uh, also, an actual mutation that leads to the protein still being made, but the protein no longer actually functions as part of the beta-catenin destruction complex. So some sort of mutation that leads to a dysfunctional protein. Mutation leads to dysfunctional protein. Or, potentially, you could get some mutation in the promoter region of the gene, which means that uh, the expression of the gene goes completely down to zero. That would also function to um, uh, give you a loss of function, so maybe a mutation in the promoter region. So there's lots of ways you could get loss of function mutations. Okay, but if you are going to get a problem, uh, you need to have both of these APC genes knocked out. So you need the loss of function in both genes, and that is going to be a rare event. Because if you think back to our uh, colon epithelium here, okay, what needs to happen is in one of these cells on this colon epithelium, this double loss of APC needs to occur, basically. So, let's say it's this colonic epithelial cell, but the actual chance of it suffering mutations in both of the APC genes is low. If you think about, you know, all the mutations that could happen, the chance that you're going to get both of those specifically is very low. So, um, it, it takes a long time, it's very unlikely, but if it happens, what's going to happen? So, let's say this specific colon epithelial cell here has undergone this loss of function mutation in both of them. It was unlucky enough to suffer a loss of function mutation in both of its APC genes. Then what's going to happen? Well, it's going to lead to that cell totally over-dividing. So, basically, what's going to happen is you're going to get loads of these green cells. Okay, So it's going to produce a whole population of green cells that are genetically identical to it. So they all have loss of function of APC, so you're making more and more of them. So all its daughters as well will want to divide as well. So you're going to end up with this large mass of cells uh, which all have lost the function in this APC gene, both of the APC genes. So they're all genetically identical to each other. So you end up with this large mass of cells which have all both lo all sorry all lost both the function in both their APC genes. Now this mass of cells is known as an early adenoma. And at the moment I want to stress this is not cancer. At the moment this is a benign tumor. So a tumor basically just means a mass, a, uh, a mass of cells. Um, it do, a, the, 
a tumour is not necessarily cancer. To be cancer, you have to be invasive and metastatic. You have to be destroying the normal cells. These cells are not destroying the healthy tissue. They're just growing out, basically. You've just got a mass of them. But they are not destroying the normal tissue, so they are not yet cancer. So they are a benign tumour at the moment. So a benign tumour just means a mass of cells that's new, um, but which are not yet cancerous, so they're not attacking the healthy tissue yet. So this is an early adenoma, and it's an example of a benign tumour. Okay, right, so now the next stage happens. So this is our first stage. We form this early adenoma, so one cell in the colon epithelium is unlucky enough to gain this double um, whack on its APC genes, and then it produces an early adenoma. Now, you've got a very large population of cells here. What happens next is one of them is unlucky enough to get another mutation. So out of these green cells, one of them is unlucky enough to go through the next stage of um, the process of going towards colorectal carcinoma. And the next stage is to get a gain of function mutation in a protein known as KRAS. Okay, so we now need to discuss what KRAS does, and for this we need to look at the growth factor receptor pathway, but we'll do that in the next video.